Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to answer a question that came across our tech support line of trying to mate a motor to a mounting plate using the joint command. So this is sort of the classic case of trying to get a hole centered within a slot. So uh, here you see a, a representation, the world's most amazing motor model and the mounting plate. And so we're gonna dive in and use the joint command to, to perform this operation. So the joint tool is really nice because it offers a ton of flexibility, which you'll see a little bit later when we control the design. So I pick the hole that I want to mount, and then I'm gonna orbit, and I can try to pick the slot. So right away, I could pick the center of the hole, and that's totally legit because we're going to change the amount of travel in a little bit. But if you wanted it to be centered by default, what you need to do is find the surface that you want to use, and then you hold down the control key, and that allows you, oh, this is a little bit tricky, so this is why I'm using the top holes. Okay, hold down the control key, there we go. And now I can orbit to any point that's defined by that slot. So I go ahead and hold down the control key and click, and I've now centered the shape. So that's just a little tip. We've covered that in, in videos in the past. So that's how that can work, just using that control key. But please note, I could totally have used the center point of the hole, the, of the slot. That would have worked as well. And if you want to lock it down in place, you're done. It defaulted to rigid. It's perfectly centered. Great. But in real life, like we have these slots for a reason, it's because it can change depending on if there's pulleys, sprockets, etc. That's why we have some adjustability. So I'm going to switch this from rigid to slider, and right away we can potentially see a challenge. It's sliding the wrong way. So besides nailing down the, the connection point, we also sometimes need to work with the alignment. So in this case, it's aligning between that surface and the surface at the side of the slot. So I'm going to change that to use an edge. So I'm going to use this edge here. And then for my second connection, I'm going to use the edge of the slot. And if that doesn't work, you can use the select other cycling, but you'll see that it does now at least slide in the proper direction. But one more thing we need to adjust. We don't want it to slide infinitely, right? There's a limitation to the length of the slot. So we want to make sure that we control that. So we can also apply limits to the joint and we can apply a starting and an ending limit. And so I know that the slot is one inch long, but you may not know that, right? Because I designed the part. <laughs> so we can click on this arrow and measure it. So if I look over here, I can orbit, or if you can do the select other cycling, however you want to do that, I can find that it's one inch. But because we located it at the center, I don't want it to go one inch down. I only want it to go halfway, right? And then for the end point, I want to give it the same amount of travel, but in the opposite direction. So I'm going to say minus 0.5 because the math is pretty easy. And then if you want to set a specific uh, location, you could do that here as well. But let's go ahead and hit OK. <clears throat> and we'll take a look at how our joint now works with the limits. And you can see I can slide it up to the top end and slide it down to the bottom end of the holes. So that's how we can apply that slider limit. And once you've got like the pulleys and everything in place, you can either grab that dimension or I can sometimes just ground this. Oops, sorry. Right click on the motor itself. There you go and you can ground it in place once you've got that final position. So again, just a kind of a relatively quick hitting tip today, but this does come up, trying to center the holes and slots using the joint command can be a really useful way of adding that uh, type of control to a design. And then also putting limits on that slider motion gives us the variability that we need in the design. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.